Hi, I'm Maggie Weldon, owner of Maggie'sCrochet.com. I'm very proud to say that Maggie'sCrochet.com is now the largest all crochet site online. We have thousands of crochet patterns and hundreds of them are free. I learned to crochet a long time ago when I was in fourth grade. Nobody in my family knew how to crochet, so I was taught the chain stitch, and I did the chain stitch. I crocheted the whole skein of yarn into um, just a long, long row of chains, and I rolled that those chains up into a ball, and then it wasn't until a couple years later that I picked up a book, and I saw how you could build the stitches off of the chain. So it's really nice to have these videos so that you could learn anything you want to learn, especially in crochet, and it's, it's very exciting. So I'm hoping to teach you through these videos exactly how to do the stitches and the techniques that you've been you know, wondering about or having a hard time with. So pick up your hooks and your yarn and let's get started on some lessons. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do broomstick lace. And what I'm going to be using is a very large knitting needle that comes in a set like this. And this is US size 50. And we also have size 35 on the website. And I think it also comes in another size like 19 or something like that. But we have these available at maggiescrochet.com. So I'm going to show you how these, how broomstick lace is made. The patterns usually start out with the patterns usually start with a row of single crochet and it's usually done in a multiple of five. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. And then I'm going to chain an extra one for the turning chain. And then single crochet back. Okay, so now I have row one is a row of 15 single crochet stitches right there. Now I take that last loop, I still need my crochet hook, and I put the large knitting needle, the loop onto the large knitting needle. Then I'm going to hold my yarn to the back and I'm not going to the loop that came out of the last single crochet counts for that single so I'm not going to draw another loop out of that single but I'm going to insert into this single crochet right here I've got my yarn back here I'm going to yarn over I'm going to the hook from the back to the front like I normally would but I'm going backwards here a little bit and I'm going to turn the head of the hook down to draw that loop out and then it comes out like this and I'll place that loop onto the hook just like that. So I'm going to go all the way down I'm going to go into the next one I'm going underneath the two strands of the eye of that single crochet stitch I'm yarning over like I would normally from the back across the front I'm going to turn the head of the hook down I'm going to draw that loop out and you can see right there the strands are separate if I peel it up like that a little bit and that's what I'm going to put onto the broomstick lace needle once you get the hang of this I usually land up with this needle in my lap and somehow like just it works out better and faster for me to get those loops onto the hook with this thing like standing straight up like this 
in a way. So you go through each each loop like that, you yarn over, you draw that loop out, and you put it up on your hook. And then you go into the next one. You yarn over, you bring it out, and it's separate there. And it goes up on the up on the needle. Go into the next one, yarn over from the back over, you bring that out. They're separate right there, you can see the loops, and that's what goes up on the needle. And you do that all the way down, yarn over. It's really not that hard, and it's really a beautiful stitch to do. You put that up there. One thing that I love to do when I'm designing is to use two strands of yarn because when you use one strand of worsted white yarn it comes out really thin and I like my afghans to be a little thicker and then it comes out quicker that way too but you know for certain things the one strand would be nice like a lacy shawl or something like that and you put that on there when I get done, I should have 15 loops up on the needle, if I did it right. Okay, I'm down to my last two right here. I'm going to put that over. See those strands are separate. Then I'm going to go in here. The last one is right here under those two loops. I'm yarning over. Draw that loop out. Bring it up like that and slide it onto the needle. So let's count here, see what I got. I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. Yay, how exciting. Okay, so that's like row two right there. There you can see the single crochet row, and then I worked back and pulled up a loop from each one of the single crochets. So now, I'm going to, I'm still holding my yarn in the back, I'm going to push these forward and I am going to slide four, five loops off at a time. So I'm going to slide these five off, I'm going to hold them together like this. I, want to, I don't want to lose them, I want to hold on to them. I've got all, this is the five loops I just pulled off and I'm going to turn them and I'm turning them this way and I'm going to put my hook in here I'm going to yarn over from the back like I usually do I'm going to drop a loop and I'm going to chain one right there so what I want to do here is put five single crochets into that same working over all five strands I'm going to put five single crochets into that little wad of loops there so I've got one two three four and five. So I've, I've worked over the five strands and I can pull this up and even it out. And then I go back to the st strand still on my hook and I pull off the next five. Slide them off. I've got my finger in the middle and I'm going to turn them this way. Okay, I've still, I want to work through the center of every one of these, but the, I've got it twisted like this. See if you can see that. These are my five loops right there. Right there you can see they're all different colors. And this is my strand for my single crochet. But I'm going to turn them this way. And then I'm going to work five single crochets into, over, working over all five strands, I'm going to work five single crochets into that circle, the center of the loops. Oh, shoot. Okay. I just lost my hook off of my, my loops came off of the needle, but it'll work out. It'll be fine. Okay, there's two, three... four and five okay so I'm gonna line these five loops up the way they were on the needle 
and I'm just going to turn hold them together I've got my finger through them right here and then I'm going to turn them and then I'm going to work five single crochets see I'm getting my five single crochets back that I had down here on my starting row so I still I always have the same number of stitches on every row and there's five right there so there is a section of broomstick lace completed Isn't that cute okay so now we go back to the same thing I take that last loop I don't have to chain here or anything I'm going to take that last loop and I'm going to put that back on the needle and then I'm going to hold my yarn back here and it's the same thing as I did on row one I'm back in the back here I'm going to yarn over the hook I'm going to draw the hook the yarn up out of that single crochet and if I and I'm going to pull this up so it's big and then tighten it up over the hook not too tight just a little little snug these still got to move and they got to move over the widest part of the needle so I'm going into it's like I'm working backwards and I'm going to go into this one I'm going to yarn over back here I'm going to draw that loop out I'm going to pull it up so it's large and then once I have it I pull my hook out and I make that a little snugger so I go all the way down pick up loops on every single single crochet all the way back you should have five over each set Once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty fast. But if you just remember, it's the same as when you're working a stitch, you yarn over from the back across the front of your hook. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm yarning over. I've got my yarn in the back. I'm bringing over the front and I'm turning the head of my hook down to bring it out of that single crochet and then I am pulling it open and up over the the needle and then I pull my hook out of that stitch okay yarn over draw a loop out feed the loop onto the hook okay you should have five in each set. You should have five loops that come up out of the single crochets. Okay, yarn over. I've got two sets done. And I'm working on the last one. So these got a little tight, so I'm just gonna stretch them out here and get them a little more loose or looser. Get them looser. Okay, and now I'm down to my last one, I think. I'm gonna do a count, make sure I got enough loops. Okay, so this should be this should slide around. It shouldn't be that it shouldn't be as tight as I've got it here. So I'm just gonna ease them up a little bit okay so I have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen fifteen yay okay so I got fifteen so I go back and do the same thing where I slide five off so here's five and I'm going to keep my finger in the center and I'm going to put my hook through the center of all five loops and I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to bring that loop up. I need to chain one to start my uh, first single crochet set. And I'm going to work five single crochets into the over those five strands. So if you were working two strands at one time, you would just work over the like you'd be pulling, actually be pulling 10 loops 
off, but you you work them when you're working your single crochet stitches, you would be holding two loops here, two strands, and you would just work as if it were one strand. So I'm going to slide my next five off. I'm going to try not to lose my needle out of here. And I've got my finger in here. They have to be twisted all together in unison for it to look right. And then I'm going to do five single crochets over those loops. There's the five there. I can move this around when I get done. Okay, I'm going to take the last five off of this needle and I'm going to turn them this way. Then I'm going to work the five single crochets into that set. I've got three, four, and five. Okay, now what I want to do is come back here and move these five single crochets so they're over the center of the loops. You can move these loops around a little bit so it looks nicer. Okay, so that is how you do the broomstick lace. And you can experiment with different yarns, uh, different thicknesses of the needles, and um, do all kinds of things. These would make gorgeous um, shawls and uh, baby afghans. We have a really pretty baby afghan on maggiescrochet.com and this is it right here. And we used two strands of uh, Burnett baby coordinates and we held it together as one strand and we alternated the colors. So when we, on this one, when we um, picked up the loops, we, ch we had single crochets in the five loops. But when we picked up the um, strands off the single crochets, we changed to pink so that we were pink uh, picking up pink loops. And then we came back with the pink singles. And then we changed back to the white and picked up white. So that's how you can alternate the colors on the rows. But this is a gorgeous um, baby afghan. And that pattern number is PA180, and that's available at maggiescrochet.com. So that's how you do broomstick lace. I hope this has helped you. And I thank you so much for watching. And if you have any suggestions or ideas uh, or comments, just email videos at maggiescrochet.com. Thank you.